that. So today we're gonna do a Q&A. I would personally like to dedicate this video to a good awesome person who's been commenting on all the videos for as long as I can remember. His name is Campbell. So first question from Swag Jeff. The dumbest question to ask at Traveling Clap. Have you ever been in a plane? No, I mean, if you think back, I, I'm trying to remember if I've ever been in a plane before. No. No, I don't think I ever have been in a plane. Next question on YouTube is from Particularly Noble. Have you ever been able to check off anything from your bucket list that you didn't think you would ever get to do? And what's the next biggest thing you'd like to check off your bucket list? So definitely seeing manatees and swimming in them has been a bucket list item for a very long time and I accomplished that. My next biggest thing to check off my bucket list is seeing a snow leopard in person in its natural habitat. From your boy CJ, love you man. Would you ever visit London? I don't know, I've already been there, but who says I'm not coming back to me? Hmm? Not me, I'm not saying anything like that. From Best Attractive Music, what is your biggest dream? Well, currently my biggest dream is to find a way to financially stabilize myself and find a way to do everything I want to do, which is travel and uh, explore new scientific things in the world and lead expeditions and make new discoveries. I mean, it's a big dream that encompasses a lot of things. From my boy Campbell Utley, if you were on an island that you could only take eight things with you, what would those things be? And also, I love your videos. <laughs> I also love you. All right, let's speed run through this. Eight things on an island. One, my ukulele. Two, a lighter. Three, my phone. Four, my laptop. Five, my vlogging camera. Six, my big camera. Seven, a Wi-Fi hotspot. And eight, all of you guys. Next question is from Oh Hey It's Diamond Nader. Have you ever almost died on one of these awesome trips and what's the craziest thing that happened to you while you were abroad? Looking back, I don't think I've ever almost died on any situation yet. So the craziest thing that ever happened to me abroad so far has gotta be climbing that CN Tower in Canada. That freaking thing was crazy. That was insane. From Hollyberry Finn, what's your favorite song at the moment? My dance moves are just on point. From Steel Waffle, can you give me five high school hacks? Yes, I can, sir. Five, try to go on at least one trip. Four, don't mess with asshole girls. Three, be friends with only people you actually like. Two, find a hobby you really like to help you out in bad times. And one, do not stress, you will get through it. From one of the best clads I know, Lewis Hodgson, if you could change one thing in the world, what would it be and are there any places you're planning to travel to in the future? So if I could change one thing as of right now, it would probably be world peace. And that also gives me kind of a benefit as a traveler to be able to enter whatever country I want to go to. And any places I'm planning to travel to in the future, I kind of hinted at this before as to where I was going over the summer, and this ties in to the little pipe also. Since I started making YouTube videos, I acknowledge the fact that I was putting myself out there, and my life out there, my friends out there, my family out there. And so, I tried to be as open as possible as I could about everything. And there is one thing I kind of strayed away from talking about for the past couple months, and that's not okay, because I shouldn't have to. And so one of my most asked questions on my YouTube channel that I most often hide or delete is uh, where am I from and what religion am I? Well, class, I am a Jew and my family is from Israel. Although I was born in the United States of America, I was kind of semi-raised there, and this is also where the pipe is from. It's from Israel. And that ties into Lewis's question is where I'm planning to travel to next. I'm actually planning a giant trip out there, and I'm going to be showing you guys the country and everything it has to offer. But yes, finally answering that question, I just hope that you guys keep in mind that my religion and the country I'm from does not determine who I am as a person. I have gotten a bunch of hate messages already just from people kind of connecting the dots of me not talking about it, and uh, it kind of sucks that's the reality but I hope the ones of you guys that stayed with me so far don't leave because I finally revealed you know where I'm from so we got a little deep there am I right from my good good friend army from the greatest cookie what was your dream job as a kid I'm pretty sure as a kid I wanted to be a dinosaur so if that was possible that's that's what I wanted to be which ties us into our next question from Todd which Jurassic Park movie was your favorite from what you've seen so far and are you excited for Jurassic World sir I don't think excited is the proper word to use in all seriousness yes I'm super excited for it and the first Jurassic Park has got to be my favorite let's go Serena ask what do you love most about coming home after traveling and that's probably my mom's food eating out is nice and everything but nothing beats a home-cooked meal and my last question is from my good friend Corey on the story app and it is since starting your channel what is your favorite moment to look back on man there's been so many amazing moments so I can't really pinpoint one I think probably landing in Africa I'm so sorry about all the comments I wasn't able to answer I got a lot this time and it was a little bit overwhelming I will see you guys in my next video I love you love you long 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 time <laughs>